Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode. So uh, today we are going to learn um, more about the word of God. And before we start, let's have a word of prayer. Dear Father in heaven, creator of heaven and earth, we thank you for this new day. As we're starting this um, Bible study, may you be with us, guide us and protect us. For this I pray, trust and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so today, uh, today's topic is, it's over between us. So uh, this topic is from a social point of view to a spiritual point of view. I know most of you, if not all, have had relationships and um, it reached a point that it ended. And these words that we're using today, it's over between us. It is used when maybe things are ending between two people that were in a relationship. And uh, today we're going to see on how these words can be used in a spiritual perspective. Uh, when you go to, to tell someone that it's over between us, it means that there's something that has happened and the relationship cannot go on. And it's a deliberate decision that one makes. You just don't wake up from the blues and tell someone that it's over between us. You first, um, you first make up your mind. You see on the positives and negatives of that decision. And now you make the decision that it's over between us. And today is uh, we're going to see uh, that we are ending things with our current relationship and going back to our ex. So when um, it's over between us, back to my ex. So the key verse is Hosea chapter 6, verse 1 and verse 3. It says, Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us, that he may heal us. He has struck us down, and he will bind us up. Verse 3, let us know. Let us press on to know the Lord. He is going out. His going out is sure as the dawn. He will come to us as the showers, as the spring rains that waters the earth. We have seen that um, for a relationship to end, it is something that you've thought about. You just don't wake up and end the relationship. So uh, this is a relationship that you're having between us and the devil. And it, it started with God, it went to the devil, and now we want now to go back to God. Yes, everyone have sinned, has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but how long will you stay in sin? How long will you stay there in that relationship that is not um, bringing joy into your life? We know that uh, God, God's side is the side that we all ought to be in, not the devil's side. And the relationship that we are in, most of us, or most probably all of us, because we sin and we find ourselves in a relationship that um, does not have an, a happy ending. And um, we know that God is going to be victorious in the end. So it is a happy ending on, on God's relationship and not the devil's relationship. So um, the Bible says that in John chapter 8, verse 44, that you are uh, like your father, the devil. We can read that verse. John 8, 44, it says, You are of your father, the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Now you are in this relationship with someone who is a thief, someone who says lies, someone who is a murderer. Are you sure that that relationship will take you somewhere, will take you anywhere? Uh, in the uh, social point of view, uh, this relationship that you're in, this person is mishandling you, this person is lying to you day in, day out, this person is a murderer out there, you, you won't stay in this, in this relationship. We'll have to tell this person that it's over between us. But now we've seen that um, we are ending things with the current and going back to your ex. It is not a common thing in the social aspect that you're ending things with your current person and going back to your ex. And today we are going back to our ex, who is Christ. Christ died on the cross for you and me. Christ gave his life for you and me. And now it is time to go back to him. When you were first baptized, just um, reflect on your life. When you're first baptized, 
you went into the waters came out and you are you are all in Christ you are doing bible studies praying all the time consulting god in everything that you do but now it has reached a point that you left that relationship and you went to the devil's relationship and it's now t- a high time that you look back and see that you need to go back to god because he needs you back he needs you back in his relationship the devil won't uh, provide any uh, any good thing uh, that god can't provide because um, god is the creator so today we are going back to our ex today you're facing the devil telling him that it's over between us i'm going back to my ex i'm going back to my first love in revelation chapter 2 from verse 4 to 5 when revelation chapter 2 starts uh, it is talking uh, to the church of ephesus and um, now when we we go to verse 4 and 5 it says but i have this against you that you have abandoned the love you you had at first remember therefore from where you have fallen repent and do the works you did at first if not i will come to you and remove your lamp stand from it its place unless you repent we see that the people of ephesus it is said that they were they were go- doing good works they they were not tolerating those who are doing evil any they they were doing that which they they deemed right but they they were missing one thing they left the first love and who is the first love the first love is god and they are being told to go back to the first love today we are being told abandon your abandon your um, current relationship which is the relationship with the devil and go back to your first love it's over between us back to my ex and um Isaiah chapter 65 verse 2 it says I spread out my hands all the day to a rebellious people who walk in a way that is not good following their own devices from this verse we see that though we are rebellious God is opening his arms to us it starts by saying I spread out my hands it is like a hug that God God wants you back when you are there God God wants you back leave your current relationship that you have with the devil and go back to your ex who was your first love who is God and God is ready to restore the broken relationship have you ever had someone who you wronged you went astray from maybe you did a lot of uh, evil things uh, f- towards that person but this person is ready to accept you back and forgive you and continue uh, having the friendship with you this is what god is doing we we have been rebellious we have left him we have gone to the devil and now he wants to restore us uh this relationship that was broken can be restored this relationship that you had with god can be restored and uh we'll see in isaiah 118 what the lord is really saying to us isaiah 118 come now let us reason together says the lord Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be like wool. God says, come, let us reason together. You ended the relationship with God. You left God. You left doing your Bible studies. You left um, talking to God daily. You left everything that God uh, desires for you. But now he's saying, come, let us reason together. Yes, you went to the devil, but I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here to accept you back with open arms. So today I want to encourage you as you start as we're starting this day, look at your life. What are you doing? In which relationship are you in? And if you're in a relationship with the devil, if you are in sin and comfortable in sin, please, I urge all of you that end that relationship with the devil and go back to your ex. Um just tell him it is over between us don't go and say you know let me just go i i see that other side is good you know but go straight to his face and say it is over between us i'm going back to my ex who was my first love may you all have a blessed day and may you be blessed with that sharing thank you